Highlining is the practice of walking slack lines, but high off the ground, potentially really high off the ground, kind of in like wild locations, maybe between spires or off the side of cliffs. But it's pretty much the, yeah, taking your skills as a slack liner and applying it to slack lines that are way high off the ground. Highlining to me is kind of this like perfect practice of balance skills and physical skills and then a ton of mental skills. So I, I, I think that highlining is probably the best thing that we can do as clients. <laughs> It, I like that fine balance of climbing and highlining and trying to like bring it together and see like what they do for each other or whatever. I became a climbing instructor because I have a passion for rock climbing and I realized that I wanted to share that passion for rock climbing with people. And being a climbing instructor is awesome because it allows me to work with climbers of all different ages as well as all different abilities and ultimately just work um, with them to become the best climber that they can possibly be, whatever that means. This is a perfect environment to practice those skills on. Don't go and scare yourself silly on the lead wall. That's not going to be, in the long run, that's not going to be a good thing. I think indoor climbing is a really important part of climbing, at least it was for me, because it gave me that opportunity to um, be in a controlled environment and learn important skills and practice those important skills and get comfortable um, just moving off the ground so that when I took it outside, I was like already um, ready to be outside. Like in my own personal climbing, bouldering is great because it gives me the chance to like work on certain skills that otherwise maybe I'd have to like drag a partner into and kind of put them through the process too. Personally, yeah, drawn to the desert. I'm a desert rat by heart, and I just love that it's kind of harsh, and it demands a lot of you, but it also, like, rewards you with just, you know, unbelievable landscapes, really.